And we are live, Matt. Hello. Hello. So, now we've got our new title card, we can properly begin with our second series. Yes, we can. Yes, this is The Tangentleman, Drinking and Thinking. Today, we've, um, we've dropped down substantially from last <laughs> time, um, where we were drinking posh, posh vodka, not vodka, the other one. Whiskey. Whiskey, that's the one. You know that thing our title card's a picture of? That's the one. <laughs> We're on Buds today because it's in the middle of the day. And yeah. um, it, it didn't seem time appropriate, did it? No. no. Well, I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere, but I get what you mean. Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. But anyway. It's not five o'clock here. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Apparently the, the king of beers. Maybe not the beer of kings, though. I don't know. Is there a beer of kings? I don't know. Mead. Mead. Honey that's mead. Not, that's not beer, though. <laughs> right, so what are we talking about today? Sorry, um, I'm Lee. I'm Matt, hello. You know that already, though, but it's what I normally do, so I'll do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Today, we're talking about spooky, spooky things, aren't we? Yeah. 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 Or potentially. Well, I mean, yes. Yeah. I'd say we are. Yeah. Uh, the question was, was very vague. Um even though I wrote it. <laughs> so, is the supernatural a thing? Yeah. And maybe why do people believe in it? Yeah. I like that. I like the double pronged. Mm. Right, I'll give you my two supernatural stories. Okay. I'm going straight into the ghosts. Okay. Classic, classic things with ghosts. Right, so when I was a kid, apparently I used to see um, like a, a woman in my room in my in my old house when I was a kid. Um, Is that like, why you moved? No, well, I moved rooms, apparently. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it looked like my, my Aunt Flo. Not a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it looked like her. Mm -hmm. That's my mum. And um, so yeah, that was that. Second time was much more recent. Um, so it was when I was travelling around Europe. Okay. And I was, um, I was in Romania. You got Transylvania. So I wanted to be, I wanted to go to Vlad's Castle. Dracula's Castle for Halloween, but it was like 800 euros. So I thought, makes sense. I won't do that. But mm. I found out that there's a um, there's a haunted forest. I'll bring it up. It's called Hoya Bachu Forest. Okay. Bachu Forest. And I went there with a couple of guys that were at the hostel with me. Okay. Um, right. So this is from oh, the well, uh, it's from the Independent. Do, 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 do. This, I mean, already, I yeah. can see why. It's a, it's a creepy fucking place. That's a very, that's a very good picture yeah. of, of a creepy forest. Yeah. So this is Hoya Bachu. So it's, it's, um, it's, it's just outside a city called Cluj Napoca. Okay. You value my privacy. Yeah, I'm sure you do. <laughs> this is, probably isn't a ghost. No, this is Alex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But yeah, super, super freaky forest. There's supposed to be like places where like trees don't grow and it like it gets all it's fucking huge as well. So you've got to get a taxi out there. So I've got okay. a taxi out with uh, these two guys. Hmm. Um and we're gonna have like a bonfire out there, have like a bonfire barbecue, basically. So we're going through there, super creepy place. We're in there, it got dark by the time we got there, so super creepy. Anyway, we um it overlooks collusion poker so it goes down this massive hill and you can sort of see all the um cities in the background and it was really pretty so we uh, set a fire up started making our hot dogs mm -hmm. there's no one around who's going to a fucking horrid forest at night me apparently and these two guys and mm -hmm. um we were um yeah so we were we're having our hot dogs. I, I hear something behind me. Now, when you, so we've got our backs to this forest, like the edge of the forest. And as soon as you get into the forest, like the trees are, I mean, the trees are like that. They're very close together. Very gnarly, scraggly. Yeah. At the edge of the forest, that is, you can sort of wind your way through them, but there's probably not much chance of getting much else through there. So back to the forest, steep drop as well, as soon as you get into the forest, like a hill goes back down to go up this hill. Yeah. The hill goes back down as soon as you get in there. Hear this sound behind us. What's that? Look, look, to, I look to my right, this horse bolts just past on the right, just down this hill. I don't know where okay. the fuck it's going. 
it's just a hill and then just I think then it's like a cliff and Clujna Poker. There was a road off to the left, mm -hmm. but it was sort of just running off the other way. Hear another sound. Bang, this ho horse and carriage fucking comes past, bolting from the forest. I shit you not. Two horses, horse like horse drawn carriage, and like there are still like people that use like horse and carts like in the middle of like Romania. Mm. Like, you know, in sort of like the villages and the settlements and things like that where you know, you're probably just working the land and things like that. This was Clujna Poker. It's probably one of the biggest cities in Romania. So people have cars. People have nice cars. Hmm. This this fucking just horse and carriage just bolts out of the forest, goes down the hill. Hmm. Not to a road, because the road was that way. It just shot straight towards this fucking thing. And Toward the like, cliff edge? Yeah. Oh. And we were like, oh, okay then. Right. And that was, so I was, I was 25. Mm. So this wasn't sort of like a, a mangled memory of like childhood. This was mm. this was five years ago. Mm. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that is my most vivid recollection of a potentially supernatural event. Was someone on the horse and cart? Yeah. So you got a horse and cart. You had so the horse bolted. There was a, sing, a single horse who just fucking ran off to the right, mm. ran to the left of us. So the two guys were sat on my left, and this horse and cart, two horses old fucking car guy on it like looks like he's got rural attire on but okay. it's, it's pitch black so i can only you know barely make out this guy and he just fucking just bolts for the the other tree line which i'm pretty sure just drops down into collusion poker hmm. okay yeah wow right obviously could be horse and cart guy could be Two questions. How the hell did it get through that forest? Because I we'd come out of the forest mm. and it's I mean it's like that. You're not gonna get a horse and cart through there. You, like if you have this one and this one mm. like together, there's there's probably like five, six feet, two meters between them. Mm. You know? You're pushing it, yeah. Yeah. And, and they were going, going at speed. And it's going uphill to get out of there. Mm. It's pitch black through that forest. This guy didn't have any lights or anything like that. He was just mm. on a horse and cart. And he was a skeleton. It could have been. It could have been a spooky, <laughs> spooky skeleton. Um, but yeah, it was bizarre. Mm, all right. Okay. Absolutely bizarre. Do you have any stories? Um, do I have any stories? Um, uh, no. <laughs> I actually don't. But I, um, I've always been fascinated by mm. that sort of thing. Mm. Is it a thing? Uh, well, in some ways, there's no way for us to know. Mm -hmm. And it's, if, if it, see, a lot of the stuff, mm. it sort of feels like um, old world explanations for stuff that we know more about now, like schizophrenia. Sure. So demonic possession. Mm -hmm. and Although uh, ghosts, I don't know how you'd explain them necessarily. Mm. Like witches, just like the weird cat lady in the woods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hermits and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because all you need to sort of have, like, to be a, a witch, like, in sort of making your poison brews and things, is just a good horticultural knowledge, mm. I would imagine, you know. Mm -hmm. Get some gnarly fungus. Yeah. Brew that up in your, you know, in your cauldron. Mm. And you've got a big old vat of poison there, mm. you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. Indeed. Yeah. But I'm, inter I'm interested in the, in the belief around it mm. and to why these things are believed and how that affects mm. certain, uh, certain uh, people's lives. Mm. So now would be a good time to bring up Alex Jones. Of course. And his, his theory that we bring up quite often about... Uh, about uh, interdimensional aliens. Of course. They, they're, these things are demons. They're actually, they're literal demons. They're actually... I don't know if he says literal. Probably does. Probably. But, like, um, but, like, demons, I mean, that's a... Also, <laughs> he also says aliens. Mm. So, aliens slash demons. Mm. But it's, uh, yeah... That's an interesting thing, because you think like 
Well, I mean, I, 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 one would assume he believes that. You, I'm not sure necessarily if he does. So you apparently you can get a t-shirt now. You can. You can get a, a t-shirt, interdimensional aliens t-shirt. Oh. <laughs> if you're on board with Alex Jones, here's your T-shirt. Get it from trepublic.com. You can get it in hot pink. Can you? That's you can. Very much oily. It's beautiful. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Turquoise heather. Yeah. Just many, 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 many colours. Many, many colours. Take your pick. Uh, I would assume that he believes it. Yeah. Hmm. Well, he's, I mean, the wait. stuff that he's seen and like turns out to be like real. It's crazy, like yeah. how much of this. Like probably he's probably batting about sixty percent. It's nuts, and some of the stuff is nutty, mm. is like absolutely mad. Mm -hmm. Yes, incredibly. So, like, if you can go to you know have like the spiders that produce. Milk or whatever he was talking about on that that <laughs> classic Joe Rogan podcast. What were they producing? Bulletproof, bulletproof armor, yeah. or something like that. And yeah, then, like the the human hybrids, which we didn't have. We didn't have the. Uh, well, we saw that there people had tried to make them in the past. Mm. There was the killing of kids that mm -hmm. weren't kids until mm -hmm. some ethics board said mm -hmm. it was okay, and yeah. the. The, the governor was like, yeah, we make them comfortable, mm -hmm. but... He, he predicted 9-11. Yeah. So... Like straight up <laughs> predicted 9-11. I mean, from, from his perspective, if that's, if that's part of the course, why not interdimensional aliens, you know? Yeah. Well, the thing with that is it's, it's almost not as important that he believes it because he's talking about other people believing it and it affecting their sort of models to run the world mm. things like that mm. so in that respect it's interesting mm. like rather than it's almost immaterial if if they're real or not it's if these people believe that they're real mm. and they're acting accordingly mm -hmm. then then there's an issue indeed mm. it's like a lot of um I mean, there's a lot of uh, sort of the charlatan types. Hmm. Let's 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 focus on ghosts a okay. bit here. Let's start on ghosts. Yeah, because I think that one is partly due to um, people sort of being. Well, that's a fear of mortality. Fear, isn't it? Well, yeah, fear of mortality. You know, hopefully, there's something at the end of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, part, partly, it's wishful thinking. And, yeah. And you see, like the the spirit, the the people who channel spirits, mm. big air quotes. Yeah, yeah, because they're mostly con men. Yeah, a way to con money, women. I mean, it's it's a fantastic way to make money because you know to manipulate, you need to sort of focus in on someone's fears and insecurities. That's mm -hmm. a fantastic way to persuade, persuade and intimidate. Mm. Um, and uh, they're. Um, Especially tying into like loss and grief, mm -hmm. you know, very um, strong, for want of a better word, emotions. Mm. So, an an easy thing, I'm sure, to scam and con from. Yes. Mm. Oh so, yeah. yeah, ghosts. Simple enough. To a degree, yeah. Because there's also, but there's also people who swear they've seen them. Yeah. And. There, and there's like the poltergeist, mm. which is like a, an evil or mischievous Malevolent spirit. Malevolent spirits, yeah. Mm. Mm. So I mean that. The, so going back to, I can't remember the old woman in my room because I must have been about two years old, so I can't remember that. Mm. But the horse thing, that just it just confused me. Mm. I'm like, where has it come from? Mm -hmm. It's come from behind me. The forest is behind me. Mm. How the fuck did it get through there? Where's it going? Mm. You know, mm. and you know, it wasn't like my great grandfather was on on the back of the horse. I'm like, <laughs> Granddaddy, come back! It was just, I just, <laughs> just, I was like, fuck! It's just some fucking rural Romanian dude fucking mm. caning it towards a mm. cliff edge with a skull for a head. Yeah, and fire around mm. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost rider, rider of horses, <laughs> and um, my bike's in the shop. Yeah, so like, I wouldn't, 
like with 100% certainty say it was a ghost. Mm. But I do not know what the fuck that was. Mm. Like straight up. I don't mm. know where it came from. I don't know why it was going that way. Why, why has he got a horse and cart in one of the most affluent places in Romania? Mm. Um, it, was, it was so bizarre. Mm. I mean, equally, it could just be, you know, I mean, I de- definitely, it was there because we all saw it. So it wasn't me just, you know, thinking on it. Um, our brains like to play tricks on us, of course. Mm-hmm. And I've explicitly gone to the most haunted forest in Romania for mm-hmm. Halloween. So that's going to build up a lot of imagery in our minds and expectations, I imagine. But it was bizarre, mm-hmm. you know? It wasn't like we saw it off in the distance. It was like two metres away. It mm-hmm. like shot around us. I'm surprised we didn't get trampled, if I'm honest. Mm-hmm. It was so close. This horse went right by me, scared the shit out of me. And then that one came around like that. I was like, fuck, are we, in a, are we going to die? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, we freaked out. Mm. Um, yeah, and we just fucking walked back after that. We put out the fire and that was it. Whew, off we went. Mm. Um, yeah, because I've, I've always been a bit scared of death. Mm-hmm. Um, I think partly due to I haven't done in what I feel I haven't, I haven't done enough with my life mm. at the moment. And there's just so much cool shit that's going to happen mm. you know, in, in the decades to come. We're in a fantastic technological age. And I get fantastic FOMO anyway. Mm-hmm. Crippling FOMO. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to be dying the day before the uh, you know, brain transfer comes in. I'm like, no! <laughs> give me one more day! Oh, timing! Such <clears throat> terrible timing. You know, like the, the first commercial flight to Moonbase 1. It's mm. going to be in like a week's time. And I'm like, no, I'm here like, <laughs> going. <laughs> you know, so there's always that. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. When I was a kid, um, terrified of Dracula and vampires. Mm. So much so that I used to like curl up my, my bed sheets around my neck. Oh. Like, so I'd like tuck myself in so the vampires can get me. Mm. And then one of my friends at school said there were, there were German vampires, specifically German vampires, that would take the blood through your ears. And I was like, fuck, no, I had to like, put it over my head. <laughs> and that was, like, that was like three years, you know. Wow. Let's talk about Dracula. Yeah, okay. Because he was just a bad dude. Yeah, well, he's... Like, he was just a fucking bad dude. This is Vlad the Impaler. Yeah, just based on Vlad the Impaler. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Bad, bad, a bad man mm. who has become a weird romantic figure and also a weird rat person with pointy teeth. Oh, fucking not. Nosferatu. Nosferatu. <coughs> oh, sorry, vaping and tried to speak. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Nosferatu. Mm. That was, yeah. That was a hilarious film. <laughs> essential, essential viewing for any media studies student, apparently. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess for the time, yeah, it, it was mm. really, really, really impressive. Probably, yeah. I'm sure there would have been, yeah, yeah, and the makeup would have been terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, when the first of rat man, the first film ever coming out was um, like train coming into the station is what it was called. It was a French yeah. film, and people were genuinely terrified, weren't they? Because the train was coming in towards them. They thought, "Ah, oh, yeah. we're going to die." Yeah, yeah. So. It's going to come out of the screen. It's going to kill us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, th- on, on that vein, I mean, I think, again, I think it's a lot of what you said is, is we, we don't like not to know. We don't mm-hmm. like not to understand, mm-hmm. you know, and that fear we, we invent, you know, these fantastical stories, mm-hmm. you know. Well, it's also like around maybe around like killers and things like that. Mm-hmm. Where you go, this person has done something so horrible. Mm. They're not. They, M- must, they can't be from, be, yeah. they must be something else. They yeah. can't be a person. They surely must be from hell. Mm. You know. And yeah. the further you go back, the less secular, at least we were as mm-hmm. a country. Um, Got to be. I mean, obviously that because really that's mm-hmm. supernatural as well. Mm. You know, angels, demons, all of that. Sure. Um, regardless if you believe that or not. If you don't, it's mm-hmm. going to be within the, the supernatural realm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Everything outside of us. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's going to be more um, legit to think that way, mm. isn't it? You know. Well, 
You know, there's ghosts, there's demons. Probably a fucking demon. Probably. Probably a fucking demon. Yeah. Yeah. It must be some kind of vampire or a witch. Mm. Must be a witch. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Ah, what else do we have? Because, I mean, I guess, like, because you've got this whole, like, you know, everyone being hugely religious, that's just the, the done thing mm. back then. Um, and still now, I think it's just we're one of the countries that's becoming more secular mm. as a as a country, which is bucking the trend for the rest of the world. Everywhere's actually becoming more religious, mm. which is very interesting. Mm. Um, but you've got that twinned with, you know, folklore tales and things like that. Again, people trying to explain mm. things. Trying so to make got, sense of the world. Yeah. And these are, you know, these are monsters and fantastical creatures and heroes with, you know, magic powers and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's putting two and two together and just sort of picking the nearest thing to it, mm-hmm. I guess, isn't it? You know, because we want to know, we want to understand, we can't not comprehend things. Mm. It doesn't sit well with our minds. Our logical mind wants to grasp something and go and makes as much sense as it can mm. something yeah you know try to really envisage what infinity looks like mm-hmm. the brain doesn't like doing that mm. that we need to have boundaries somewhere we need to put it in a box somewhere in our minds and go okay it's kind of like this well infinity is infinity mm-hmm. and you can add one to infinity and you can... i saw this fantastic thought experiment once mm. um first tangent of the tangentleman or probably mm-hmm. the second we you know Round and round we go. Yeah. Um, so it was like, th- there's a, a hotel with an infinite amount of floors and an infinite amount of rooms. Okay. Um, open all the time. All the rooms are fully booked. Okay. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a person in every room. Mm-hmm. Um, but a tour bus comes in with like a million people on it. Hmm. So <clears throat> um what the like the, the the concierge manager does he has a bright idea he gets um everyone to move um to the to the um what was it it was like the the next even number mm-hmm. or something okay. um so one goes to two two goes to four i, I think it might be like prime numbers yeah. it goes up like that and then he just puts all the million people in the rooms it was like N plus one or something like that. So he just moves everyone one along. Okay. Um, and then a bus with an infinite amount of people comes in. And then it was like 2N. So one times two, two times two. Yeah. And he puts everyone in the, the rest of the things. Still makes a load of money. If he can't put them in, he loses an infinite amount of money, loses his job. Yeah. Then an infinite amount of buses with an infinite amount of people comes in. And then I, th- I think that's when it gets to like square numbers or something. Or something mm. like that so every everyone currently in the who's checked into the building goes to an even number and he puts mm. everyone else in the odd numbers ah nice. you can do it because it's fully booked but it's infinite right so at the moment matt has just got a very confused face on I'm really and this confused. is this is what um you know infinity does to our minds we, we can't wrap our heads around it mm. I'll try and find it. I'll try and find it. Yeah. Okay. Any thoughts? Any thoughts on on why we believe this? Uh, I mean, it's well, it's probably um, sort of old. I imagine it's old folk tales that have sort of become have become a part of the public consciousness mm. or the social consciousness, and. Um, they sort of came about from people trying to make sense of the world. And also, I suspect mm. that drugs play, uh, or hallucinogenics play, play a part in it. Mm-hmm. Particularly of like old townships that live in like the forest. Mm. Where there's like fungus and things growing. Yeah. Some of it's going to be... Uh, a bit tasty. tasty. A bit tasty, yeah. yeah. So you take people probably ate them without knowing mm. what was going on and saw some crazy, crazy things. Yeah. 
and was like, what the hell was that? We mm. need to make sense of it somehow in our mm -hmm. brains. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't do too well with, with dissonance. No. Well, we talked about this last time, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, cognitive dissonance. Mm -hmm. We don't deal very well with it. Right, I found it. So this, this um, thought experiment is called Hilbert, Hilbert's Infinite Hotel Paradox. Okay. Right, let's share this. We're going to learn a bit of, um, I think it's a philosophy, a philosophy thing or a, well, it's probably a mm -hmm. mathematics thing, isn't it? So there's no vacancy. Mm -hmm. um, imagine a grand hotel with a countably infinite number of floors and rooms. On this particular night, the hotel is completely full. Mm. Late in the evening, you arrive at the hotel and require about a room. Okay, so it starts with one person. Right. So we just moves everyone on one. Okay, so you get room so one. So I get room one. Person in room one gets room two. Two gets three and so on. Okay. Infinite number of rooms. Yeah. Um, countably infinite means just we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and keep going. Yeah, up to infinity. Indeed. Okay. Right. So this is what happens. So I get into one, two goes into three, well, one goes into two, and so on. So we just do N plus one. Okay. Everyone still has a Let's room. Build a new room. Mm -hmm. An infinite bus arrives. So the next night, I'm still there, but mm -hmm. um, uh, an infinitely full hotel. Oh, another infinitely full hotel with no vacancy. This is a different infinite hotel. This one's going to be the same one. Doesn't matter though. Okay. Doesn't matter for this. Um, this time, imagine. What are the odds there'd be two infinite hotels? I'm not sure. Some amount. Yeah. yeah. Just in case one of them is full. Well, I think for in like the the quilted multiverse theory, yeah. I think the the possibility of there being a world with us on it mm. is exactly like Earth. Uh, is like 10 to the 10 to the 21 or something like that. Mm. So maybe something like that. Lots of zeros. Okay. Yeah. So. Imagine how many maids you would need to clean an infinite hotel. Yeah. Or maybe it's just really fucking grotty. Maybe. I mean, you know. You'd miss a couple when you, yeah, if you had infinite You probably rooms. would. So um, the infinitely long bus comes in with an infinite number of guests. So the manager jumps up, begins preparing an infinite number of rooms, for the infinite number of new guests, how does she do that? Well, she just times is their number by two. So I now go to two. Okay. Person in two goes to four, three goes to six, four goes to eight, and so on. So everyone gets, okay. so everyone that comes in gets the odd numbers. The people that are already there get the even numbers. So people are double doubling up? No, no. So I've gone from one to two now. Okay. The person who was in two goes to four. The person uh -huh. who was in three goes to six. Ah, so everyone who's currently staying there is now in an even numbered room. Right. The people, the infinite number of people on the infinitely large bus uh -huh. will go into the odd number of rooms. Okay. As it's infinite, that's fine. Uh -huh. And that would be 2N. That's 2N. Okay. So now an infinite number of buses. Okay. An infinite number of infinite buses arrives. Okay. Can they make room for it? Um... Somehow mathematically. Yes. Because there is a countably infinite number of prime numbers. Okay. So now we're doing it on the prime numbers. So I was in two, so two to the two to the two. So we just put in the old room number as the power of. Okay? Okay. So person who took my room now goes into my room. I in the second room go two to the two, which is four. I'm now in four. This all goes along, mm. and then they put the next um, put the next people in one. So to the power of prime numbers. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Not now. just moving you into two, three, the prime five, numbers. seven, eleven, thirteen. We start going like this. Okay. Yeah. So so you would go. So you're in room two. So you go into room four. I'm now in room four. That person who was in room two. Room four will now go into two to the. Two to the power yeah. of four, which is two yeah. times two times two times two, isn't it? Two to the power of four. Two times two. Two, two, two. So two. four, eight, sixteen. So they will now go into sixteen. Okay. Sixteen will go into God Christ knows, two to the power of sixteen, whatever that is. Yeah. Yeah. So as much as that makes sense. It kind of doesn't make sense, does it? Because it's a hard thing to grasp. Infinite, um, well, infinity. I mean, I understand the thought process that's yeah. led to this. But can you see that infinite hotel? 
Is that no, no. I mean, well, sense, I, it? sort of. I can see the bottom of it, mm. and then you you look up, and it just keeps going. Yeah, and, and there's just some clouds in the way because your brain's like, nah, fuck this. Yeah, yeah. clouds. Well, it just keeps it just keeps going until it, you can't see it. Mm. It's like to a point. Yeah, and I imagine the infinite bus mm. is a bus that's just very, very, very long. Mm. Oh right, so this is what the buses do. So now, an infinite into, number of infinite buses. They stretching. now go into three. So That's room, quite a walk. Bus one goes into three. Bus two goes into the second prime number. Okay. And so on. Because so, we have an infinite set of prime numbers, theoretically, we can continue using the next prime as the base for each of the countably infinite buses. And since raising the prime number of new power produces a brand new room number, we can locate rooms for the infinite guests on the infinite number of buses. You'd need infinite... Uh, Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's infinity, folks. We right. can't understand it, so we try and... Uh, that'd be quite a walk from, like... Probably would. Getting toward infinity. Infinite number of rooms, probably an infinite number of... Um, elevators. Yes. And probably and, Well, an infinite number of car parking spaces yeah, as well. Yeah, and probably, like, a lot of magical jiggery pokery as well. Yeah, you'd yeah. need probably an infinite number of shuttle buses to get the infinite number of people up to the hotel from mm. the car park. Yeah, yeah. Maybe teleportation. See, we're trying to make it easy for ourselves. <laughs> trying to make it easy for our brains. <laughs> ah, okay. Supernatural. Supernatural. That's what we're talking about. So yeah, I think it's partly that. We don't like things we don't understand, so we need to simplify it in any which way we can. Mm. Back then, maybe more than back now, maybe mm. more than now. Yeah, we have a lot more things which make sense to us. Yeah, angels, demons, folklore. So we can go, ah, it's just that then. Mm. Not necessarily with that nonchalance, but like, mm. oh god, it's that. He was a he was a demon. Yeah, easy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's ghosts. Dracula, all kinds of things like that. We want to, mm. well, not necessarily humanize, but standardize horrific acts. Mm. Well, I mean, that would take into account maybe the Wolfman. And, mm. and uh, I mean, yeah, the Wolfman potentially, stuff. potentially like people who eat people. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Ripping them apart. Or, I mean, we saw what happened with the bath salts thing a couple of years ago. Yeah. You know, they basically turned into zombies, and I had to, mm. I had to brush off my. My uh, zombie evacuation plan, and just just in case. You know. <laughs> well, like zombies as well. I mean, that comes from voodoo, voodoo things like that. Yes. Yeah, mm. where people's heart rates could be slowed down to such a, you know, an infinitesimally small increment through mm. herbs and flowers and whatnot, mm. and be, I say hypnotized, but like um, easily suggestible. Mm. You know, there's there's like a powder in um, Colombia. Mm -hmm. um, cocaine. That's one of them. Um, <laughs> From powder. It, this, this is fucking terrifying. Right. Um, mind control powder. What? Yeah. Devil's breath. Ugh. Right. So, found out about this a couple of years ago as well. So, talking about zombies. Zombies are mindless creatures that will, you know, just a... Horrible. Sure. So, devil's breath, urban drug, the most world's most scary drug. So, like people put this on their hands, blow it into your face, and it's just a high suggestibility drug. Jesus. And they'll just rinse out bank accounts. Um, yeah. Oh, Le damn. like leads to hallucinations, frightening images, lack of free will, amnesia can occur. So they'll rinse your bank account out, rinse your um your house out, and then you won't even fucking remember that you've done it. Christ. Yeah. Oh man! Yeah. So, oh wow! So, I guess basically zombification, sort of. Yeah. Or hypnotism, like a like a thrall. Yes. You know. Ah. Oh. Good lord. Mm. Okay. Yeah, but immediate Maybe, zombie like yeah. side effects. Hmm. Seems unlikely, apparently, from a pharmacological standpoint. Others are question the reports of robberies taking place when the power is blown to someone's face or placed on a business card. Well, I saw a whole fucking documentary on it and it was fucking terrifying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It was terrifying. <laughs> right. Ah. Okay. 
Well, I mean, talking of, uh, of drugs mm. and Alex Jones mm. a little bit, mm. D- they were DMT. talking about DMT mm. yeah. and what happened. DMT Alex! Well, I'm just your brain on DMT, mm. which is uh, odd. Yeah. Very hallucinogenic. Mm-hmm. You go to another dimension, apparently. Mm. Well, this is also what's released um, before death mm. as well. So ah. the, I think it's the pineal gland. Yeah. Um, releases all so- sorts of, you know, neurochemicals. Like mm. I think it does like um, adrenaline and things like that. Mm. Um, it might be that, or it might be the hippocampus. There's something in our brain which will just flood us um, with, D- like, our DMT, and that's where they think mm. the, um, you know, walking into the light and seeing all your mm. friends and family comes from. Mm. Um, my whole life flashed before my eyes. Mm. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, so it's produced in our bodies as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's also from various animals and plants. Like, plants have got loads of fucking DMT in them. There's certain plants that just fucking make it all the time. Mm. But I think it's, yeah, it's like a neurochemical of some sort for um, not stress, um, like trauma and things like that. Mm. Um but we don't know. I mean, I'm I'm agnostic on all this kind of stuff. Mm. Like um, hallucinogenics and all of that stuff fascinates me. Mm. Um, and who's to say if we if we like again, it's things we don't understand. We'll just pass off as something that we can understand. But who's to say there isn't different dimensions? You know, we we'll look at the the quantum realm, which is really small. And then you've got, what's it? String theory, which has got like 13 dimensions. And it's not, mm. obviously it's not dimensions as this is a dimension. It's sort of small things and different things, but there's, we only have a very small area of perception. Mm-hmm. You know, we see visible light. We mm. hear between a certain decibel range. And things like that. What's mm-hmm. to say that there is? I mean, there's obviously more out there. We can't fucking see dark energy and dark matter and all of that. So mm. there's, there's other shit out there, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think we're we're smarter than we think we are a lot of the time. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you reckon intimate, interdimensional aliens, man? Oh, possibly. Clockwork people. I don't know about clockwork people. Clockwork elves, isn't it? That's what, what Terence McKenna was going on about. Because Terence McKenna was a, like a true psychonaut, wasn't it? He? he was just fucking dashing mm. hallucinogens all the time. <laughs> and that's a pretty, you know, cool philosophy to go on. You know, be kind, be nice, all that yeah. shit. Take, take we're not, we're not us and all of that things. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I went to, I went to Amsterdam mm. a couple of times. And every time I go there, I'll have the mushrooms because they're legal and I'm like fucking yeah let's fucking do it mm-hmm. you know um, and your mind goes a bit nutty on yeah. those they certainly do you know you have some like dumb thoughts so one of the ones yeah. that I had was that pigeons were the evolution of man <laughs> for the sole reason that they just had to eat bread crumbs they could wash their feet in fountains and laugh at the stupid humans that was one of my <laughs> that was one of my thoughts you know you could hear the pigeons talking I, I talking just, to I each just, other and going <laughs> well, I just knew I just knew yeah. by looking at them there was, a, there was an unspoken conversation between us <laughs> like I see you pigeons yeah I get it I your to, eyes met a pigeon's yeah. eyes and across, was, a, across a square you know where you sit in like the 80s films where like they, they look across the room and there's like that knowing nod yeah, yeah. like that or as the like you know the background zoom goes away yeah as you zoom <laughs> in <laughs> yeah 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 um, so some of it's dumb, like that. Or maybe it's not, maybe that's the real Or thing. maybe pigeons are the next evolution of man. Because they have to do those three things. Exactly. Um, some of the stuff's profound, you know. It's mm. like, but what, what actually matters in our lives and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but that goes away from the supernatural. I think that's just, you know, a different way of perceiving things. Mm-hmm. Um, Personal responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> That's where the that's where the philosophy comes from. Me just dashing mushrooms when I go to Amsterdam. We all just need to be better people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what a what a boring trip. We just need to, you know, just. I've got it. I've got it. Yeah. We just need to just 
take some personal responsibility. Have you, have you had any? So are you melting? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have two heads? <laughs> mm. Yes, I'm fascinated by the idea of it. The mm. idea of doing something like that. Mm. As a writer, I'm sure you are. Yeah, mm. It'd just be like, oh, yeah. mm. see what's see what's going on. How Most much of it do you recall? How much? Recall oh, it's do you normally have? it's normally really lucid. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because I think only one time I went for a nap after it because it got a bit too much. It all got <laughs> a bit too much, and I was like, oh, I'm going to bed. Where yeah. my bed felt like a marshmallow, and yeah. then like I was in like this fucking weird hostel, and it sort of had like this great like it was in a bunk bed. Mm. Like a metal grate which held the next like um mattress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was all kaleidoscopic. I was in a marshmallow, felt very safe at that point, but then went to yeah. bed. Uh-huh. Um but I could still I still remember that mm. trip, obviously, because I went to bed. I remember coming back, there was my, my friend there. Um he was really happy mm. to be there. I was very worried to go back and see him before because he had a bad trip in the museum. Mm. He fucking ditched went home with another of our friends who hadn't taken any. Mm-hmm. And so he got him home. We got there. There's Sprite all over the floor. Um, <laughs> but he, he had a big smile on his face and I was all happy to see him again because he was getting a bit of a bad, like, he was a bit of a Debbie Downer at yeah, that yeah, point. Yeah. I was like, fuck, I don't want to go back to that because I'm going to get even more down because <laughs> I'd broken a glass at a restaurant by just laughing away. Yeah. I'd knocked it. Everyone looked at me and I thought, fuck, they know. They know. <laughs> so I was having a really bad time and I got back and I was fine. Yeah. Um, it was so funny. So he's just listening to music and trying to hear all of the, you know, the hidden secret things in, you know, Dark Side of the Moon or whatever. Yeah. And there's there's my other friend and he looks like he's having a sleep. Mm. He looks like he's just gone to bed. He's like, he's had enough of the other guy. He's just gone to, gone to bed. Mm-hmm. And I'm talking to talking to my friend who had the bad trip and he told me about the Sprite. He spilled it over and it just kept <laughs> growing and he was just it was mesmerised by it. I had a Sprite bath. Yeah. And um, we're chatting away, and then our other friend, um, we'll call right, we'll call friend number one who had the bad trip. We're going to call him Sam, okay, and the other guy we're going to call John, okay, right. So John's having sleep, yeah, um, and we, me and Sam, Sam's talking. had the sprite, bath. yeah, and we're talking away and we're having a bit of a laugh, and then, and then sort of John, like, I, I thought he was like sleep talking, like mm. sort of mumbling, and then he just goes. <laughs> like, fuck is it sam is he all right is he all right he's like nah he went he went to another head so they call them head shops okay. where you buy all of these different concoctions and whatnot head you know. shop head yes it's okay. in your head i went to a brilliant one he was basically the cue of mushrooms <laughs> you know don't drink don't smoke on them maybe go to a park it's very nice <laughs> they don't taste too good, so you drink, you have them with some yogurt. That tastes very good. And they, this one, I'm particularly proud of. Yeah, like he was fine. Like he was. This great. one's he, also a grenade. <laughs> he told me everything that I needed to know. Yeah. So, but John went to this one because he was obviously getting FOMO from it. He goes to this one, just can't speak any English, completely Dutch, hmm. and he just buys one, which we work out. He took a double dose of the highest strength mushrooms that you could get out there. We had. The single dose of the lowest ones that we could get out there because Q told me to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dutch Q, Dutch mushroom Q told me to. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> you fucking know what you're talking about. So I'm going to have those. He just went with this like mm. off the beaten track head shop, bought fucking too much we bought a to- and just saw a toadstool. <laughs> and just saw the devil for about four hours. You know, he doesn't remember. He doesn't remember what happens. Good but God. just for the next two hours, you'd just be like, oh, <laughs> God, what is going on? And we're just having a nice time. You know? God bless him. Yeah. So don't do that if you should ever find yourself in Amsterdam. Don't just go to Dutch Q. Dutch you Q. Know? Okay. But yeah, I remember all of the trips. Hmm. And yeah, the things that you think are profound sometimes end up not being profound at all. You're like, oh, that's done. Or maybe it wasn't. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Goodness. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. So what so the one that you had, I guess, mm. would just be like, oh nice little tingly, like, oh I was I always find myself to be very introspective on mm. them. So like they'll they'll have like stars on what they do. 
Yeah. So you'll have like a star for visuals, as, as uh, visual hallucinations. You'll have a star rating for auditory hallucinations. Okay. Um, I think like how chill you're going to be or yeah. upbeat. Um, and then sort of how much, I think the, the last one is just called brain. <laughs> and that was like, that was like a four star brain thing. It was like one, 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 four. I'm like, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, so I had those, was very introspective. So all of my own thoughts and trying to sort mm. of put the, put the world to rights and understand what is going on. And it was, it was pretty cool. And then the next time I went for the big, the big boy ones. When mm. I went back with um, a group of friends um, and, and split a double dose with, a, um, with another guy. Mm. He said he didn't trip. He fucking did. So we were all in this mm. apartment. And he fucked off because he's like, oh, I can't, oh, it's not fucking working. He looked terrified. He looked absolutely <laughs> terrified. It's not working. Right? Bye, guys. And he went to bed, right? And I'm, I'm fucking, like, I'm in my own little world again because these were, it was like four star, four star, four star, four yeah, star. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. in it to win it at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're at, like, everyone's chilling out because they've all, they've all, they're all big weed smokers. Mm. So they've just got their, you know, their raspberry cushion this and that and they're fucking yeah. fake so they're watching tv and i'm just fucking introspective and you're just uh, sitting on a chair watching the tv and there's a steven seagal film on right <laughs> okay and i keep going into like into my thoughts and just blocking everything out and then coming back to what is next on tv so i came out of one of them fucking steven seagal just kicks this guy in the nuts like this guy launches goes through a park bench I'm like what the fuck is going on <laughs> in my mind i didn't say anything and yeah. then the other guy said oh it's not fucking working looking terrified and then went to bed I'm like, yeah whatever <laughs> it's, it's not working guys i'm gonna go lay down whatever <laughs> whatever david in air quotes <laughs> in air quotes my first my first experience with um because when you when you bake uh marijuana mm. it releases what is it thc i think it's one? the thc is the is the one is yeah. the is the brainy one. brainy one yeah. yeah so the first time i i tried weed in any form was in a church actually thc i think that's the therapeutic one isn't it because you get lots of thc stuff i don't know whatever the one is that whatever the one that comes out when you eat it what stuff is in space weed <laughs> brownies yeah they're gonna say weed you idiot <laughs> Uh, Things to know before eating marijuana edibles. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Oh no, when eaten, THC, the yes. psychoactive ingredient in weed, undergoes a transformation oh. in the liver that turns it into a different substance that's twice as strong yeah. and lasts twice as long. Okay, yeah, so the first time, the first time I, my first experience with weed was in a chocolate cake. And this chocolate cake... Mm -hmm. It was it was not a small chocolate. It's not like a cupcake. <laughs> it was like a <laughs> like a birthday like a, cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way. Proper <clears throat> huge cake. Yeah, big thick cake. Yeah, yeah. And um, so it had like a cake mix. Uh -huh. And uh, my roommate put the put the weed in it. The accoutrements. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we had this just cake baked, lovely, lovely cake. Mm. And we had a there were four of us. And we had a quarter of the cake. Oh goodness. And it was, at first I was like, I mean, it's not really, well, it took a while to kind of digest, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, with like space cakes, you've normally got sort of half an hour to an hour yeah, for I them to it, go through your system. This is, I think, about 45 minutes yeah, or so. Yeah, yeah. We put on Shanghai Nights. Oh my word. Obviously, Fantastic yeah. film, by the way, if you've never seen it. Love Owen Wilson. Yeah. And, and Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, yeah. yeah. And... Um, just westerns in general. It was mm. everything that I. Could. Oh, this this is the one set in London. Oh yeah, well even better. Yeah, and uh, he was having a fight in an outdoor market. Jack Chan, um, you know, picking things up. Yeah, and, like, yeah. Hitting people. General with, Jackie Chan yeah, shenanigans with like ladders and bobby helmets. Shenanigans, as I like. Shenanigans, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, it was it was going so well, mm. and I I was just watching this movie, and I was like. Have they have they fast forwarded Jackie Chan? Because at this point he was probably like in his I don't know fifties, in his forties or fifties, yeah. yeah, 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 something like that. So I'm like, have they, have they did they put his fight scenes on fast forward? Because it looked like 
a normal fight scene, but someone had just gone like mm. with a remote control and fast forward it just just fast forwarded it a little bit. Yeah. And I went, if we put it on fast forward. Yeah. That's that's crazy. Mm. And I was sort of leaning back like that, thinking, because we had like these pillars in our kitchen. Was this in your second place? In my yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Still in halls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like leaning my head back, feeling this thing behind my head. Mm. Which wasn't there. <laughs> I was nowhere near there. <laughs> I was like, I was just leaning back, my yeah. head resting against the air. Yeah. And at a certain point, I just spaced out, and it was as if I'd gone through the Stargate. <laughs> it was it was absolutely nuts. Uh, and yeah, after that, it was just mad laughter, basically. Yeah. Just mad, mad laughter. Mm. And being a little bit zonked, but fairly enjoyable. Mm. I don't generally enjoy um, smoking marijuana. No, because it makes me a bit too like the. I go very blare. Yeah, with yeah. The, especially with the stuff that's here. Mm. So I used to, I used to smoke quite consistently mm. at university when I started. Didn't before, <clears throat> um, but then you know, trying to be cool, trying to be part of the cool kids. Mm. I'd have some. Then I went to Amsterdam for the first time, where we had the whole, you know, Sam and John incident. <laughs> yeah. where we had that incident, and obviously yeah. Sam, this, John, and Satan. Yeah, this is obviously you know one of the well, not an export, but the reason one of the reasons <sighs> people go to Amsterdam, drugs or ladies of the night. Yeah, or partying. Actually, no, there's lots of reasons to go to Amsterdam. It's very beautiful as well. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're a miscreant like I am, in, you know, <laughs> when I'm 20 years old, it's, it's, the, it's the drugs. Not the ladies and night. I was with mm -hmm. someone, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. And um, so I, I went there, obviously, didn't smoke too much of it. Mm. Um, but I came back, bought some, and ne like never smoked it again. I was like, this is terrible, terrible stuff. Mm. Or I didn't smoke it as consistently. You know, if I was trying to be cool at the game, I'd, mm. I'd do that. But yeah, mm. yeah, it, it ruined it for me. Absolutely ruined it for me. Mm. I'm trying to work out how Jackie, like how old Jackie Chan is. He is. That's why I'm, yeah. I think he's mind. well at this point. He's well into. Well, his so 60s. he's in his sixties now. So he's 1954. So I'm trying to work out when Shanghai Nights came out. So oh 50, god, he might so be. He's 54. That's 57. So he's 62. So Jackie Chan is sixty-five. My God, um, Shanghai Nights. So he is a two thousand three film. So that takes it back sixteen years. Um, so yeah, he was he was forty-nine. Mm. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he recently made a movie. Mm. Again, tangent tangential as anything. He recently made a movie mm. called I think The Foreigner. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. With um, it's like him and Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, it's like set in the in like Ireland. Mm, I remember about like IRA and that. Yeah, not a bad movie, and he's still doing all this stuff. Yeah, well into his sixties. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Mad. Incredible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good lord. Where were we? Supernatural. What? Supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> we're on our we're on our second bud now, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm. I'm liking this new Budweiser, format. not not Bud of anything else. No, I'm liking this new format, man. Yeah, this is a as, as a second, third, fourth, fifth tangent. Yeah, it's it's a different vibe, mm. slightly different vibe. This, this is this is big talk after dark. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. It is a bit. We're gonna have to put the um the eighteen plus thing on our. <laughs> but um, we're not doing our videos. Before. I don't think I was. Oh ah, well. I think actually no. I think I. No, I'm not going to talk about YouTube guidelines. Boring. <laughs> hmm. mm. Well, you know. But yeah, very interesting. And it's interesting. It's like, oh, right. So supernatural, probably because people were religious. We're going on to new <laughs> things now. Um, right. Okay. Okay. The right. So let, let's let's do a final thing, and then we'll go on to a second second chapter. Okay. Because uh, I think we're we're going strong on a on a new chapter at this mm. point. So right, supernatural. Do you think it exists? I don't know. Okay, so you're you're sitting on the fence as usual. Well, 
as, as a big in milk class, toast in classic big, Matt milk toast Matt, fashion. Matt milk toast again. Yeah. Well, the reason I brought up DMT mm. <laughs> and all these hallucinogenic things is partly because it ex- expands perception. People see stuff. Yeah. And uh, who and who's to say those things are not real? And we don't know. Yeah. We don't know what we don't know. Mm. You know what I mean? Like we yeah. we can't see. Mm. Like I'm reminded of a of a Lovecraft short story mm. called From Beyond, mm-hmm. or at least the movie made about it was called From Beyond, where like a scientist sort of finds a way to like shift the dimension ever so slightly. So we can sort of peer behind the veil. And like a little bit and all these creatures appear mm. in, the, in the air. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's entirely possible mm. that there's something going on that we can't see. Mm. There was a fantastic quote from Einstein. Mm. And um, it was asked, because a lot of the time he was asked about being religious. Being a, you know, mm. a, a true man of science. Are you religious? These things can't possibly be mm. intermixed, which I believe they can. Not yeah, really being religious, but being being a Matt milk toast about it. Um, you know, hmm. I'll um, I'll reserve <laughs> judgment until I need to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, he said um, there are things in this world, there are things in this universe which I'll never understand, and mm. or, or we will never understand. I'm butchering mm. this quote, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, there are there are things in this universe which we'll never understand, and it's mm. those things that I hold in great reverence. Mm-hmm. So in that respect, I am religious. Mm-hmm. And I thought, fuck, that's great. That's absolutely great because mm. it, it it goes against us thinking that we are really, you know, fantastically intelligent because we're mm. making leaps and bounds with technology and we're understanding mm. things that we would never have understood a hundred years ago. It would have been magic. There's that other like fantasy or science fiction quote, isn't there, which is like anything that can't be explained by science might as well just be magic another butchered quote mm. there two for two mm-hmm. on that one um mm-hmm. but yeah so that's where that's where i am with it and being a, a, a dabbling psychonaut whenever i can get to a place where it's legal mm. um yeah you do see things and try to understand the world a bit different and it does expand I'd not say expand your mind because that's lame, mm. but um, expands your um, what would you call it? Not necessarily what you believe, but what your perspective. Outlook. What what you would um, be like? Hmm, okay, <clears throat> okay, that that might happen. It, maybe it just expands your agnosticism on what <laughs> could definitely not be real. It, mil- but, it, but it, it might be it, it, more milk toast. If it, it further milks your toast, it milk toast smacks you. <laughs> Yeah, and um, yeah, and I've I've always loved that quote. Like even from a strictly scientific perspective, you know, there's so much about the universe we don't understand, mm. um, and we may we may in time there will be what even though we are going leaps and bounds at the moment, you know, with artificial intelligence, with the universe, mm. and the scientific theories that are coming out, there are things that unfortunately we won't see. Mm-hmm. I'm really hoping for that medical advancement which just makes us immortal i, I want to see the heat death of the universe you know? mm. i mean i won't see it i'll be my atoms will just cool down and die before that happens but mm. see as much well, of I mean, it as i can you, if you hang out next to a radiator yeah yeah really good one yeah like a yeah like a decent i'll just, be, I'll just be in a nuclear reactor just going i'll <laughs> be there till the end buddies <laughs> <laughs> lovely and warm in here yeah. <laughs> but yeah um, there's stuff that we're not going to see, but mm. even like on the on the, pers- the you know the perception thing, there's so much that we can't see, and we just have to rely on instruments and things like that. You know, large hadron collider, for example, we can't see atoms hitting into each other and making the Higgs boson and mm. you know antimatter mm. and stuff like that. You know, there's so much that we can't see and we can't, and we even can't like, comprehend at the mm-hmm. moment because we don't have the models or the instruments to understand mm. and comprehend i mean you saw me struggling to comprehend infinity yeah. earlier <laughs> yeah you know i think it's fascinating the, really the fascinating. ape the ape looking at an iphone yeah exactly like, mm. well fantastic analogy isn't <laughs> yeah. it? you know there are there are things where we are just, just smashes it <laughs> just just looking at this this thing you know it's the monkeys looking at the obelisk in 2001 mm. space odyssey like what is this mm. uh magic 
Magic. I want this to, is easy. I want to watch that again. Hmm. I watched the sequel as well. Have you seen the sequel? I haven't, no. I've heard that the sequel is rather good as well. Hmm. To 2010. Yeah. And there's another sequel as well. Well, it should be. Yeah. It's coming up in the next 20, year. 2061. Is it? Because they keep having to push them, don't they? Like, the 70s and the 80s were terrible for uh, mm. Hollywood trying to guess what was going to happen, flying cars and everything <laughs> like that. And then we look back now and just look outside yeah. and, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's like, well, hey, we landed on the moon. What's what's going to happen next? Yeah, just yeah. like, we're fine. We're not going to do anything. We're not going to go back to the moon for a long, long time. <laughs> and um, yeah. we're going to focus on making Terminators. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you ever watch um, Space 1999? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> oh. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. bless them. Yeah. Oh, the moon has is, is been knocked out of orbit and it's mm. going somewhere. Well, that happened in the time machine as well, didn't it? Did it? Yeah, yeah. So he gets to a point, I think he like, ends up in London and the moon has exploded. It's going into orbit. Mm. This is just before he meets the Uloi mm. and the... Um, more Morlocks. Morlocks. Yeah. Um, and like everyone's hiding from it. And he just like he has to get back to his time machine really quickly. I think mm. he hits it too much and then just fucking just goes through like the next five ice ages mm. and ends up where there's the Eloy and the Morlocks. Mm. But before that, at least in the film anyway, um, the moon has exploded because I think it's hit atmosphere and it's just mm. going to destroy everything. That's yeah. that's that's a big fucking meteor. Well, is, that, is that a thing that's going to happen? I think it. I th- no, the the moon is not in retrograde. It's actually mm. going further away from us. Interesting fact. Ah. You look at your nails. Yeah, if you look okay. at your fingernails, ladies and gentlemen. Now look at them. If you don't cut them in mm-hmm. maybe a week or two, how much they've grown is how much approximately the moon has travelled away from the Earth. It's slowly, slowly, slowly coming away from the earth. Oh. Legit. Oh. Legit thing. Well, that's an issue because it controls the tide. For later. For later, Matt. I mean, I'm not saying like, oh God, the world's going to end Mm. very soon. But Mm. like, that is a slight Mm. issue Mm. for a billion or so years in the Mm. future. And then conversely, I think it's Deimos, or well, it's Deimos or Phobos, mm. will eventually is in retrograde, mm. um, in a retrograde in orbit, and will hit Mars at some point and make it another ringed planet. Is that the one that has the obelisk on it? Or is it that may Phobos? or may not be. Phobos has got the, the thing on it, so it might be Deimos. Because they're both mm. captured asteroids, aren't they? Mm-hmm. They're both extrasolar objects that came in. Mm. Millions, billions that, that were flung at Mars yeah. during the prehistoric uh, intergalactic yeah. war. Yeah, of course. That that will happen. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. That um, is a literal theory that someone has. I can't remember who. Might be David Icke. Yeah. The fascinating man, David yeah. Icke. He's a he's an interesting fellow, isn't he? Mm. Yeah, yeah. He's a big conspiracy theory. He guy. loves it. He loves it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, interesting. So, right, we've we've done the first chapter. Mm-hmm. It's probably just people being scared. Probably. So let's talk about more about this perception thing. Mm-hmm. I like this. Because now we're going into consciousness, Matt. Yeah. And this, I fucking love consciousness. So I was doing I was doing a master's in philosophy while I was travelling. Don't do a master's while you're travelling. Don't try and write a dissertation while you're travelling. It's too bloody hard, mm. especially if you're on and off buses every other week. <laughs> it's not a good thing to do. Mm. But it's, it's something that's fascinated me, is, is consciousness, where that comes from, perception, things like that. Yeah. Mm. And this whole thing about... What were we, talk, what were we talking about? The, what are mushrooms? Hallucinogenics, there we are. There we mm. are, being gateways. There's no way to know, is there? Mm. You know, there's no way to know if they are or not, are not portals, or if there are or are not interdimensional aliens. Maybe it maybe it's easier to understand that now because we know about different dimensions and mm-hmm. fourth dimensions and potentially being a shadow of like a higher dimension and things like that. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a thing you've heard of before? A shadow of a higher dimension. Hmm. Right. No. Or is that the thing where we're like a reflection of something it's probably the same effect really. the same basic so idea. if you get 
a um a cube like a like a wireframe of a cube mm -hmm. right yep. you go out in the sun and you take this cube and you hold it towards the sun so it makes a shadow mm -hmm. the shadow itself is a two-dimensional object mm -hmm. isn't it yes but it's a shadow of a three-dimensional object which is in a higher dimension effectively so there oh. is a theory which says we are a shadow or a reflection or just a sort of an image mm -hmm. of a higher dimension i believe it's seventh or thirteenth or something like that this is something alex jones has talked about as probably well, the various dimensions probably yeah there's about 19 of them yeah yeah it's something like that that and um we're sort of like strands of this higher thing and then hmm. we sort of get into free will and things like that how do we get into free will from that well if we are if we're all the shadow or the image of a higher dimension hmm. if you move that oh so we reflect if you move that cube that that whole image is going to move isn't it you crush hmm. that cube that cube is going to crush mm -hmm. that two-dimensional image has no way of changing itself it's actually the image of the three-dimensional cube being made into a lower dimension which determines what that looks like and everything like that i see hmm. Hmm. i mean i don't i don't we're, we're, this, we're getting into infinity buses again we are here, yeah a little bit because that would how, how would that reflect upon because this is a very intricate well, i suppose seventh dimension well yeah intricacies are gonna be magnitudes gonna, higher they're gonna uh, the higher you go exponentially okay. yeah increase yeah so like the world would be a sort of three-dimensional well maybe more well, the one above no no the the us is the reflection yeah so we're the three-dimensional one hmm. but, but there's also the, other other bits going on with that so there would be a higher dimension like the cube right hmm. i'm gonna how can I do this? Well, it's like, it, it seems like a, like a scaling shadow. So yeah, you've got like the, Yeah, exactly. So there's the two-dimensional bits as well, mm. which is like the, the shadows of mm. the shadow. Mm. Then the three-dimensional, which would be the world. Mm. Then probably a fourth or fifth, which would be consciousness. Mm. And then... Whatever's at the and top. And then you take DMT, you see the sixth. You see the interdimensional aliens. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Making them take all the babies away and... Yeah. you know do blood sacrifices and everything like that uh -huh, or it yeah. might just be just completely on epstein's island yes yeah what is this deal with epstein oh well he didn't kill himself right <laughs> who who was he this i just keep seeing memes of it now just people keep talking about you it. don't know who he is not a clue or i might do but this has just come up and i'm like what the... oh he's 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 a um like a financier mm -hmm. who seemed to his money seemed to appear out of nowhere mm. And he basically, uh, the aliens, man. The, well, the, the thought is that mm. he's was well, well, he's fairly well connected. Mm. David Icke went into this. <laughs> he's like connected to like the current attorney general of the US. Right. Uh, Barr. Yeah. He's connected to, so, you know, I think he was connected to someone in the previous mm -hmm. stuff. So he's a very well connected person through mm. his parents. Mm. But the upshot of this is that he sort of became one of the world's or possibly the world's most prolific paedophile oh yeah damn okay and he's connected to the royal family right um through prince andrew okay. who has been photographed in his presence with young oh, girls connected to bill clinton yeah and hillary clinton well this is another thing that um yeah. alex jones has gone on about hasn't he where yeah. they're like they're, they're just yeah, destroy the child. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, people are saying he's connected to Trump in some way. Right. There's record of him like being thrown out of Mar-a-Lago, which is Trump's oh, yeah, yeah. thing because yeah. he's been inappropriate. Um, but he's, he has like a black book of lots of phone numbers. Yeah, he's very well connected to a lot of very very powerful people. Mm. He used to get on his plane. Mm. Which is co colloquially known as the L Lolita Express. Oh goodness! Oh god! Yes, and he had his own island. Yeah, which has like shrines on it and a lot of weird shit. So he's a bad dude. He was a bad dude. Yeah, because he was finally arrested. Oh, this is another thing that like Alex Jones called out. Yeah, years and years ago, he was arrested finally for this. Yeah. And this, there's so much to this. He was finally arrested. Mm -hmm. And put in prison. Hmm. 
um, pending testimony. Investigation and testimony and all. Yeah, what well, investigation is, they've got it. They've got it. They've got okay. it bound to rights. But yeah. he's very, very, very well connected, right? Mm. And rich. Yes, and yeah. rich. So yeah. he gets put in prison, mm -hmm. uh, maximum security, mm -hmm. and gets put on suicide watch. Yeah. He's, after... a, he's on the celebrity wing, so he's out of everyone's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, he get, he's put in, he has a cellmate mm. who attacks him. Right. Who, well, who attacks him, mm. but it's ruled as he, a suicide attempt. Right. So he gets put on suicide watch, mm. like paper sheets, yeah. constantly monitored on camera. No shoelaces, no, no shoelaces, no yeah. nothing. Mm -hmm. Very, very careful. Mm. Constantly watched by guards. Mm. So... One night, yeah. Um, he kills himself in, in inverted commas. Yeah. Um, so the reason there's a, a, a sort of hmm, well, I don't think he did mm. surrounding this is a because he's he's Jeffrey Epstein, very mm. very well connected, and someone's going to want to rub him out mm. because quickly he can. He's got the he, secrets. He's got like he's got a lot of people bang to rights. Yeah. So he's like the Royal family. Yeah. Bang to rights. Mm. The Clintons bang yeah. to rights. Yeah. Possibly Trump bang yeah. to rights. He's got loads of people just presidents past and present. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ted. I oh, know that's Jimmy Savile, but yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you think, well, they must've got it on camera. Mm. The cameras failed. Right. The guards must've seen it. The guards fell asleep. Right. Mm. And he's on suicide watch. Yeah. So he managed to hung, hang himself with paper sheets that are designed not to be able allow to hang, you to hang yourself. Yeah. Mm. So he was either definitely murdered. Yeah. Or definitely coerced into, into killing doing himself. It. Yeah. The the marks on his neck are consistent with being strangled, right. not with mm. not with suicide. Right. So spooky, spooky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it goes deeper. Mm. So very recently, mm. uh, ABC News in America, mm. one of the there was a leak from mm. them mm. about one of the uh, one of the sort of uh, oh what are they the anchor people an anchor woman yeah um, talking about how they had this story about um, Epstein three years ago right. And they were basically pushed back from mm. running this story for three years. Mm. Now, three years ago, obviously, it's 2016. Mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton was running for president. Right. And ABC, ABC have broken the like the Covington kids story yeah, yeah, about yeah. like the kids who were like so apparently mm -hmm. mocking some a Native American mm -hmm. guy. They broke the the Steele dossier about mm -hmm. Trump mm -hmm. per peeing on. Yeah, people, which has been like debunked. Yeah, and they broke the the grabbing by the pussy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they they like they have a bunch. So of they're things. in her court. They're in her court. Yeah, and if you get Epstein and he's connected to Hillary Clinton, she's probably not going to get elected. Yeah, that's not a it's not something to do if you're on her on her team. Yeah, right. Yeah. It ended up being it. immaterial. She yeah. didn't get elected anyway. But mm. like the point is, you know. Mm. Shady, shady. It's it's very, very shady. Mm. Why would we bring up Epstein again? Um, He's become a meme, hasn't he? Well, yeah, I can't remember what you said Epstein, and I said, who, who is he? Yeah, I can't remember why I brought him up now. But it's a, it's an amusing meme. Mm. It's like, um, something, like little something, known something. facts. Yeah. And then and and Epstein <laughs> didn't kill himself. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what we were talking about. No. No, we've, no, gone, no. we've gone far ta tangent. We've tangented so far yeah. that we can't remember what on earth was going on before the tangent. No. It's probably a place to call it then, isn't it? Yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah. So, um, supernatural might happen. Can't mm -hmm. prove that it's not sometimes. Mm. Um, limited perception. Mm -hmm. Lots of stuff going on. Um, and Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> I was going to do it. I was going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you beat me to it. You beat me to it. But there we are. That has been the, um, well, that'll be the second or third mm -hmm. tangential and drinking and thinking. Hope you like the picture. I made that today. Yes, it's good. I love it. Yeah. And um, I hope you love it too. Yeah. Watchers. Yeah. And we'll be back. Um, mm. I'm, I'm not sure. Probably next week. I suspect we, so. We've caught up now. We've caught up. 
yeah. to our um to where we need to be in the in the grand scheme of things. So mm-hmm. we'll be putting these out. Mm. Well, we will be putting them out every week. Yeah. Um, and soon enough, we will soon be on Camel Moon. Mm-hmm. Once we've had um a, a uh, an equipment um mm. upgrade. That's the other thing we were going to do today, isn't it? Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. Yes. So um, soon enough, we'll be on CamelMoon.com. If you're already not there, go there. Um, mm-hmm. Fantastic. They're um yeah. They've got good shit. Yeah, there. they've got good shit. Lots of great programming. Mm. It's uh. Yeah, and Will likes to get himself in the news occasionally by pissing off someone. So that's yeah, that's always good. Yes, <laughs> yes. and by drawing cool comics, really of, cool uh, comics of the Batman thing. That, that, that Batman thing was great. That was fantastic. So yeah. this was um, just just as a side note, this was um, you know when they started to do all of those um, a, an AI bot has watched a thousand hours of this, so we made him do a script. <laughs> um, and there was a, a a Batman one which was it was hilarious mm. and will being being a comic book art, artist among other things he's kind of mm. a renaissance man indeed it would seem many skills many talents mm-hmm. um just yeah made a a, a comic book of it and the, the art was fantastic mm-hmm. um yeah incredible and it seems to be getting picked up in some places now which is good mm, yeah it's yeah. been reposted yeah yeah so when when he's when he's um not pissing off people in the industry yeah he's doing really good comic book work and also good podcasts yes which are kind of like this so yeah head over to camelmoon.com and mm. subscribe to their youtube channel because they put stuff out on there yes as well so cry, yep and um we'll be back next week with the chan tan gentleman there we are indeed drinking and, and thinking and subscribe to us too of course probably do that as well yeah yeah, yeah. next week we've, we've promoted another channel but not our own <laughs> next week we've got um we've got a, we've got we're back on whiskey aren't we Yes. We're back on special Japanese whiskey. Possibly. That Possibly. might be for Christmas, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Um, and um, if you're not doing anything Christmas, me and Matt aren't doing anything. So we're going to do a live one at Christmas just because that would be fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if you're around at Christmas, we'll put out some stuff later towards the time when we're going to be doing it. You can get involved and chat to us and we'll um, drink and think with you. Mm-hmm. Till then, be nice to each other. Probably all in The Sims. Mm -hmm. Um, Epstein didn't kill himself. And Epstein didn't kill himself. Take it easy. Take it easy.